your old dogs is Ashley and today I am going to be talking to you about how to start a dog walking company super excited to film this video because I get questions about being a dog walker all the time. My husband Johnny and I started our dog walking and pet sitting company four years ago and business is booming. We have more than 90 dogs who are in our care, contractors who work for us and help us walk the dogs. Um, and so I feel like I have some useful tips that I can share. Starting with number one. The first tip that I'll share is gaining dog specific experience. So you can do this in a number of ways. You can volunteer or apply for a paid position at a local animal shelter or rescue. Um, that's what I did. I went into my animal shelter, I cleaned the kennels, I walked dogs, I followed the vet techs and asked them a million questions about dogs body language and behavior and how to approach difficult dogs. Um, I learned a lot there and because you're a volunteer people are just going to be a well of knowledge. If you already have experience with animals that's fantastic. I would still recommend working for a dog walking or a pet sitting company. Um, you can even use services like Wag or Rover if you don't know anyone personally who owns the company. But you want to learn the business side of things. How to keep your clients happy. Uh, sending pictures on the walks, giving them reports when their dogs pee or poo, what to do in a situation if a dog has an accident in the house, preparing a welcome packet, getting insurance. There's a list of things and uh, I'll share those in the next video. <laughs> Number two, decide on the services that you want to offer. Our dog walking company does dog walking, dog hiking, dog running. <laughs> We kind of do it all. We also offer overnight pet sitting, but you can specialize in one thing and that would actually be my biggest tip for you is to do things that you're authentically good at. <laughs> so if you like walking dogs, if that's a good pace for you, start there. If you like running, you can totally offer that and people will love you. <laughs> Depending on your physical ability, meaning if you are accustomed to getting outside and walking every day, then you can totally do things like dog walking and dog running. If you need a kind of slower pace, I would also recommend pet sitting. People are always looking for people to stay overnight with their animals when they're away and traveling. So that's something to consider if you don't necessarily want to walk dogs, but you still want to make lots of money taking care of animals. That was like, it was so much fur. I hope you can see that. Number three, pick a name. Uh, picking a name can be a lot of fun. I would totally recommend using keywords. This is just for SEO for you nerds out there. Picking a name can be really, really difficult if you make it difficult, but I'm sure that you already have some things in mind. Think about like your pet's names or a family pet that you had before. Um, something original. Do a search in your area, make sure no one has the names. You'll also want to legally set yourself up as a business and make sure that that name is available. More on that later. Make a list of names that you like, share them with your family and friends, have them vote on their favorite. Don't spend too much time on this process. It is important, but you also don't want to get caught up in the small things. The most important thing are the services that you offer and being good to the animals and getting your name out there. So, yeah. Number four, get the right gear. I think it's so important to just invest in the right clothing and equipment in the very beginning of your business because dog walking is very physical. So right now it's winter in Colorado. I made sure I have a quality jacket uh, with lots of pockets. I have my hiking boots and my gloves. You have to walk dogs no matter what the weather conditions is. So make sure that you have the right gear to be out there. My next tip would be start a habit of stretching. 
Again, dog walking is so physical and people start the job and they get runner's knee and they pull muscles because your body's not used to being so physical and then all of a sudden you're walking 12 to 15 miles a day. <laughs> so get into the habit of stretching and just start a healthy routine all together. If that's packing snacks for your car in between clients, if that's making smoothies for yourself, whatever you need to do, you have to get mentally and physically prepared to be outside no matter what the weather is. <laughs> the last tip that I'll share with you is just basic marketing. You might want to make a decision on whether or not you'll have a website, a Facebook page, or both. Um, but really basic marketing is going to work for you. Flyers, business cards, word of mouth. We moved our business from Atlanta to Colorado and word of mouth has been huge for us. I hope that some of these tips have been really, really helpful for you. I am starting a series on my blog about starting a pet sitting and dog walking company. Leave comments, questions below, and I'll answer them for you. I am rooting for you. Dog walking is the best job in the world. You're outside all the time. You're super fit and the envy of your friends. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video.